Hi everyone, my name is Safwan and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to install the Dataverse REST Builder as a Chrome extension and in a later video I'll show you how to actually use the tool. So link will be in the description below. Make sure to check that out after you finish this one. Alright guys, so this is my Dataverse REST Builder. Um, I'm using the Chrome extension and you can also use the a module found in XM Toolbox. That's what I was using previously but this Chrome extension just makes life a lot easier. I'll show you how to install it. So let's go to Google and search Dataverse REST Builder extension. And the first thing you, that pops up is the Chrome extension. So click on it and it will ask you to add to Chrome, add extension, super easy. It's going to download um, an executable, which Chrome would run and that's it. You're all set up. So you can click your um, extensions icon and Click on this. I normally just have it as bookmark, and then um, you'll need to get your environment URL to actually get the access token and connect. So the way you do that is by going to your Power Apps environment and then just clicking on the cog icon. And if you click on Developers Resources, you'll see that um, Web API endpoint. So this one it has the API URL. All you need to do is just copy from this H to this M. And that is your URL to your environment right there. So come back to your extension and paste it in here. Click at get access token and you're all set up. So once your environment is all ready and you have the access token, um, your screen would look something like this, where you can click on file and you can uh, click on new collection to create a new collection here. And once you have your new collection, you can click on new request. So this is where you can pick what type of request you want. So you can Click on retrieve a single, retrieve multiple records or single record. You can decide to create a new record or update one or delete one. So there's lots of functionalities here. You can also um, load in your collection. So for example, I have, have I have a previous collection which I can load in. So I'll just go load collection, and then and then I can load in the collection here. James, you can also save collection or you can go and export it to postman collection uh, so there's lots of options like that so this is the tab that i mostly use because i work a lot with portals and pages so i normally do all my web api calls through there and that's why i most of the time use my portals tab here basically what it does is it shows you the exact code that you need to run in order to make your request Thank you for watching this video. If you think it was useful, make sure to share so that others can watch this video and learn as well. Thank you.